Hey guys, what's up? Caden Puff Freeman here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Aperture ALMX LED light. So a man named Peter McKinnon showed me this product and when I saw how small yet powerful it was, I just had to grab one. Now, just from your pocket, we now have an opportunity to have a great lighting setup with no extra gear. So, as of now, this product is around $150 and I'm going to give you the pros and cons to see if it's worth adding to your camera gear collection. So when I first got this product, I was amazed at how small it actually is. It's basically a wide credit card. Now, despite its small size, it has a crazy power boost function which literally fills your room with light. I also love how the product is made out of metal and it has a great feel to it, which is good because I hate having to be extra careful with my camera equipment. It's nice to know you can, uh, can survive a few drops. Also, this little beast is rechargeable, so now you don't have to worry about carrying eight extra batteries around with you just in case it runs out. Now, another thing I thought was epic was its temperature and brightness controls. This gives you even more freedom in achieving your desired look. So when I first opened this box and saw the multitude of extras that came with this product, I was pretty shocked. Now, the case for this product has a very premium feel and it fits all the extras inside it perfectly. It also feels somewhat weatherproof, almost like a wetsuit, so at least you know it'll survive a bit of rainfall. You also get a pictured ball mount with a horseshoe adapter. This is great for attaching to your DSLR and it's, um, it's got a really premium feel to it as well. Now, it comes with a USB-C charging cable, which I think is great because more and more tech companies are making the same jump every day. Uh, GoPro being a prime example of that. Also included is a spare hard panel and diffusion gel. This will give your LED light a much softer feel to it and it will disperse the light more evenly throughout your scene. So you also get some velcro and adhesive like tabs, so if you wanted to stick it on the wall or something, now you can. And finally, uh, you also get some rubber bands included. Uh, I'm not actually sure the reason why they put these in, but I'm sure I'll think of a reason later down the line. Okay guys, so here are five reasons why I think it's a great product. Number one, it's very portable. Number two, it's the best in the market as of now. Number three, you get great extras included. Number four, it's very customizable. And number five, it's very durable. Okay guys, so here are five reasons why I think this product is not so great. Number one, it's expensive. Number two, the power boost mode only works off battery power. So if you're running it off USB-C, then the power boost function will not work. Also, uh, the power boost function only works for one minute, so that's something they don't actually tell you in the box. Um, finally, uh, the battery meter is slightly inaccurate, so the meter will go down, but you'll actually have more uh, battery left than it says. And finally, the, the heat sink on the back of the LED light is actually really heavy and large. Uh, to me, it seems unnecessary, but I guess they had good reasons for why they made that but yeah that's five reasons why the product's just not so great so there we have it guys a quick review of the aperture al mx led light now if you'd like to know more about the camera gear i use then you can download my free ebook this will be a travel video guide which lets you know everything you need to become an independent filmmaker so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon